Community is everything. We're proud to support ours. Through partnerships with fellow community leaders and organizations, we're helping our neighbors access essential resources and services so we can all thrive. Learn more at bofa.com forward slash community. I hope you have a soft life. For the young people out there, you might know exactly what I'm talking about. Me, on the other hand, I just recently learned what that meant. While it looks like it might vary from person to person, at its core, it just means being stress-free and being able to enjoy life. It's a state of being where life isn't a struggle day in and day out. And when I think of young Detroiters describing what a stress-free, wealthy life looks like, this is, this is what I think about. Because I'm not talking about an abundance of riches. I'm talking about achieving prosperity without inequitable barriers and limitations. In 2021, DFC developed a shared vision for a more equi economically equitable future for Detroit, in which all residents are meeting their needs and prospering fully and fairly and equitably throughout Detroit and the region. Prospering is not just about income and wages. It is also about other forms of wealth like education, quality jobs, healthcare, entrepreneurship, neighborhoods. It's about community. However, in order to consider how to create places of prosperity and opportunity for future Detroiters, we have to understand what our potential for achieving success is today. In a majority black city, black Detroiters have the lowest home ownership rate compared to white and Latino Detroiters. Furthermore, denial rates for black Detroiters still outpace white applicants regardless of income status. And in Metro Detroit, black workers with a bachelor's degree make $9 less than white workers. And if you're a woman in the region, it's $12 less than men with the same degree. In 2021, the fastest growing jobs require a bachelor's degree in Detroit but only 16% of Detroiters have a bachelor's degree or higher. There is nothing about this data that would lead to a soft life. If these are the conditions of black people in the largest city in Michigan, what does this say about our ability to attract and retain a diverse equitable and resilient population across the state. We are all in positions of power here today, influence. It is up to us to make sure that these statistics are not the standard. The future of black and brown people in Detroit and in the region are not defined or limited by these numbers. As we think about growing Michigan's population, our vision must be a standard of excellence for the future of all people and agree that this data is unacceptable. I, I thank you. I was honored to serve on the Grow Michigan Together Council, mostly because I truly believe that this could be our opportunity to forge a solution around education, economic growth, and community placemaking grounded in equity and resiliency. For any plan to be successful in leading Michigan's future, it must be intentional, direct, and unapologetically make sure current and future black, Latino, indigenous, and immigrant residents are not only included, but are economically thriving. A plan for an education system must not only prepare young Detroiters for current work, for young Detroiters and current workers for the future of work, 
but also must prepare Detroit kids to be nationally competitive academically and create a new value and accessibility for higher education. A plan for transformative economic growth strategy will include innovation hubs and scale up strategies. And Detroit can lead and will lead in this effort, but we must make sure and we must be intentional about including current and future black and brown Michiganders, both as workers and investing in founders. The future of Michigan's economy cannot only rely on low wage, low skilled jobs for Detroiters, and then high skilled, high wage, wages for everyone else. A plan for creating thriving, resilient communities must include investing in aging, dangerous infrastructure now in addition to developing an aggressive and inclusive climate agenda, not only for the wealthiest communities, but for the poorest communities in Southeast Michigan. Michigan is a top five in the climate states in the country, but we will only remain that way if we invest in our communities equitably, including clean water, tree canopy, renewable energy, transit, and stormwater management. The term having a soft life, it's a wish and a blessing young people are bestowing on one another as a sentiment of hope. It's a hope that I share and that everyone at this conference can share and have the agency to create the shared commitment to improving the conditions that ensure there are no limits to the opportunity for a prosperous Detroit and the growth of Michigan. Thank you. Community is everything. We're proud to support ours. Through partnerships with fellow community leaders and organizations, we're helping our neighbors access essential resources and services so we can all thrive. Learn more at bofa.com forward slash community.